Hello, welcome to a tutorial from Live Designing on InDesign. This tutorial is on how to export InDesign documents as animated flash files. In this case, I'm going to illustrate a, the um, how to create a flash file with the uh, draggable page turn uh, function. It's it's kind of cute. Uh, we have an InDesign document here, which happens to be. Uh, facing pages of Spanish and English. And on the different pages I've placed buttons, a couple of different kinds of buttons that can be used to turn the pages, either by clicking on the buttons or by dragging the buttons. But this only works after the file is converted to flash. Okay, the way we do this, the buttons are actually on the master pages. So go to the window pages and choose the master pages. Uh, what you do is open, go to window buttons, pull down the menu and choose sample button and pick one of the uh, buttons that you want to use. Uh, since we've already got buttons, I'm just going to pick a button kind of at random, right click on it, place the item And somewhere on this page we now have a button. There it is. And that's not an interactive button at all yet. It's just an icon on the page. So in when you select the button, however, InDesign immediately converts it to an interactive button. And in the Windows Buttons panel, set the properties you want on the button. Typically you want it to be on release and we don't want go to URL. Rather we want for that one we chose for these other buttons here we chose go to next page or go to last page. There's lots of possibilities here. Go to URL is another one. You can set it to do something with zooming, um, to play a video, to play sound, whatever. Um, we don't actually need the button, so uh, we're not going to use it, but say we set it to go to the next page, and then we would set these uh, things the way we wanted them, and that's pretty much it. I'm not going to use that button, so let's delete it. So the buttons are on the master pages, and when we go back to the regular document pages, we didn't apply the master page to page one so it doesn't have any buttons on it. That would be go to previous page and we don't want that on page one. And similarly we don't have the go to next page on the very last page. So once you've converted the buttons, got them where you want them, you converted them, uh, what you do next is export the document as a flash player file. So, so having saved your document, file, save as, and give it a suitable name, Go to Export, set the format to SWF Flash Player. You would use uh, FLA if you wanted to edit the new document, the new file in Flash, but we're just going to play it. So go to SWF, choose SWF, give it a name. I'm going to change the name here um, since I don't want to write over the one I already created, call it Test and click Save, and InDesign opens a dialog for exporting it. We want to export all pages. We want to generate the HTML file. Say we want to view it afterwards, that will bring it up in Flash. Set any other things you want to set here and click OK. And it warns us about the color. It happens to be using CMYK colors. H RGB colors would be better for uh, websites. Flash files are intended for websites. So generally you want to use RGB colors when you're going to go to Flash. Let's not worry about that. Click OK. And it's generating the Flash file. 
and then it's opened the flash file in the web browser. You could also open it in the flash player. And you'll notice you can do two things. You can click the buttons. It changes the page. Or you can coolly drag the buttons. Very cool. And it changes the page. And I set two of them on there just so you can see uh, both ways to do it. A little slower than just clicking the buttons, but much cooler. So uh, that's how you do it. And that's all for today, so uh, thank you for coming, and uh, that's it.